Um, I think people that are like, I think that it's, it's perfect for me and I would have never been able to come here if it wasn't for the pandemic. So I think, um, I think it's helpful for people who are, um, like on a mission already, like not on a mission to accomplish something, but like on a mission to shift how the human civilization does things. And then to have, you know, the pause of the pandemic and just this extra space of like, you know, the whole world is restructuring everything. And then coming in here is, um, it's just like an incredibly positive place to like think about the big picture of things. Uh, especially if like I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with like co-living, like, um, like mastermind stuff, like, um, just like all like coach stuff like that, that is like, I've maybe heard about it, didn't know what it was. So I think being exposed to that stuff in this kind of a setting is really cool. Um, but I think that there's also a lot of like, uh, I, I see that people that not just in this situation, but just in general, like I was in Tulum before that, where it's kind of this like co-working in paradise, like live your best life, be healthy environment where, um, like you also see a lot of people that spend their whole entire life strategizing and making mood boards and that don't really do anything. And they're like very lovely people, but then you're like, but what, what are you doing? You know? So I think that it's, uh, I see, but like it, being exposed to that scene when you've never heard of it, there's just like so much information and, and knowledge and like, yeah, just like perspective shift. So I think like the people that are busy who don't get to do this, and I've never heard of this, like this is kind of the most amazing place to like spark new ways of doing things. Like yeah, like it didn't feel networking. Like it, it yeah. wasn't like we are here to like make connections. It was like we are here to be and to like discover. But I like that it wasn't um, like it wasn't focused on like achievement. Like that that's what would have been unfortunate if everyone's like trying to get the next thing. I didn't feel that way. It wasn't like mm -hmm. a convention or like a conference. It was like some other thing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, what kind of people would you say this experience is made for or would really benefit from being a part of something like this? I don't have an answer for you. Okay. <laughs> if there was one person that... Um, <laughs> that embodied this type of person, I would go with Noor because I feel like she has blossomed this month uh, in a way that I've never seen her. And I, so um, to go a bit deeper in this, Noor is. Or, or let's go to with the type of person, someone who is basically full of potential to create for the world we live in, whatever, in whatever shape or form that means, um, but hasn't either explored that side of themselves yet or felt comfortable enough to do it or, um, yeah, hasn't tapped into it for one reason or another. Uh, and I think that this type of space, again, enables people to be a bit challenged, but in a super supportive way. And so I would invite people who have a spark of some sorts and, uh, and, and use this space for them to become the best version of themselves. It's made for people who know that they have gifts to share with the world and are looking for support and inspiration to help bring those gifts out into the world. Yeah, it's it's not for everyone. It's for, I think it's for people who are on the cusp of or in the... Um, deep in the process of really sharing their creative like 
sharing their desires and sharing what wants to come through them creatively with the world and um, helping each other to do that i think that's a great question because i've had someone come up to me and was like I don't know if this is for me because everybody here is giving and I feel like I don't have the same capacity to give. And understanding that in every situation you're in, in every experience, such in every container you're in, let's put it that way, in every container you're in, there'll always be people that are going to be giving more than receiving and receiving more than giving simply because of the dynamic and people have either more to give and people have more to learn. And having a mix of both is crucial because you have game changers and then you have people who are looking to become that and if we are in a place where we are all extremely good at what we're good at we're all here to like to learn from one another but also we are the best in our industries the best in this the best in that there's less opportunities to learn as opposed to also people who are starting off and just need a sense of direction and some guidance on where to go and putting them into this space allows them to be the next game changer and the next visionary and the next uh, groundbreaker and who is this experience for it's for people who are open to trying new things that are deeply looking to expanding their mind anyone looking to be blown away um it's for people that are willing to show up as their true selves and bring in part of them to the experience and add value through that and that goes back to what i said earlier where I can tell you that I produce all these events and festivals, sure. Or I can show you. So it's people that are willing to bring in their talent and showcase that in this safe space. Um, it's for people looking to connect, to grow throughout. It's for people taking a minute to reassess where they're at and where they want to go. And I really feel like during COVID, um, if you had the financial means to take a step back as things were slowing down and reassess where you're at and consider if where you are is due to circumstance or choice. Because in a fast moving paced world, what happens is you end up taking up a job that once made you super excited or started a company that has once inspired you so much and five years go by and you haven't really taken a step back to reflect on, is this what I want today? This is what I wanted five years ago, but I don't happen to be that same person. And is this what I want today? And reassessing those goals and where you're at and considering that, am I here because of circumstance or because I want to be? And I really believe Experience House allows you to reassess by providing you a platform to do so, a safe space to do so, some healing to go through that, then people that can help you go in whichever direction you decide to go. And that is a beautiful space to be in because you're surrounded by inspiration, ambition, support and love throughout. <laughs>